Hey guys, welcome to Automotors Technica. So in the last DIY, uh, I have shown you how I have uh, changed the CFL to LED uh, lantern. And now I'm going to fix a Bluetooth receiver into the same emergency LED light. And for that, I'm using the same battery. And it's a big battery so that I can uh, listen to the music for a long time. And the power supply wires I have soldered here, the red and black. And the left speaker and the right speaker are here in grey. So, it's a stereophonic. Uh, it was a spoiled uh, uh, Bluetooth which was uh, having a smaller battery and the battery capacity was going very low. And so I removed it and thought of this process, best out of waste. So, here are the two holes for uh, the output of uh, audio which will be going to the speakers and here the wires which are coming from the Bluetooth will go inside the audio and the power supply to the battery. So stay tuned for the next update. The assembly and soldering of uh, the RCA pins and the Bluetooth which was uh, present with me and this cabinet which used has been done and from the bluetooth i pulled out the red and black power supply and two audio outlines uh, which is connected to the left channel and the right channel of the rca and i will be using this rca to connect to the audio amplifier so that means when i play any music or any kind of uh, a phone call through this bluetooth receiver that will be received here and it will be uh, decoded and the audio output will be uh, through the rca pinouts now the thing is uh, i have put this in under charge because the battery which is lithium ion and I, the previously rigged up uh, led strip so this happens to be a 2-in-1 which is a battery powered uh, emergency lantern uh, with LED and a Bluetooth receiver. So uh, there is a microphone inside this particular Bluetooth uh, uh, receiver so that you can use it as a uh, microphone and uh, use it for calls during when you pair it with a phone you can pair it with a computer you can pair it with any other streaming uh, audio device uh, like digital audio player and so on so i just uh, given a smoke test of this and it works uh, the next thing is the next thing is uh, uh, use this and test it thoroughly for all the frequencies so as of now I'll just show you how it works. So this is the LED and when I power it, yeah, so it searches for a device to be paired. So actually this is a Yashica Bluetooth device where I removed the ear plugs and removed the circuitry and the battery was totally almost dead. And what happened is, uh, the battery was about uh, to be like uh, exposed to certain extreme temperatures and it is a pretty small battery and it was not retaining the charges. So I used this instead of wasting it as a best out of waste uh, for my DIY experiment and made this as a two in one because I needed a, a battery to support it and I can use this with any uh, two-in-one or computer uh, speakers and I use it as a music system. And I believe this will be a very good uh, uh, add-on in camping or uh, when you go for long rides on the bike or vehicle. So I'll assemble it and I'll show you the working of it so i just connected a 
two sided tape to the Bluetooth module so that it can firmly uh, fix here on the chassis of the lantern and these are a high quality RCA which are gold plated and they costed around uh, approximately 350 pair and once I stick this uh, this is ready for use and I'll be charging with this uh, through a 5 volt charger and I already have a charging port here and this charging port that is micro USB which is present will not be used okay stay tuned the final assembly has been done and it sits firmly here so this is the power come uh, phone call button this is volume low and this is volume high it is powered by internal uh, same battery and how it looks from the end i believe uh, this will be a solid device as two in one and i made it as a best out of waste so this finalizes the lantern and ready to pair Bluetooth. So I'll play some audio and show you. The short press of this minus uh, button is for the previous track and the short press for the plus button goes to the next track and long press uh, changes the volume of your playing device and finally here comes the demo uh, where I'm going to play uh, audio from this YouTube channel uh, that is my YouTube channel one of the videos of my own um, the connection is through RCA right and left which goes through the 3.5 mm which is going to uh, the multimedia speakers which I have here and the other one is here so I'm just uh, going to open and pair the Bluetooth yes if the Bluetooth device is ready to pair yes if the Bluetooth device is connected yes if the Bluetooth device is connected successfully so here it is connected successfully on uh, my Samsung phone. Welcome to Automotors Technica and now I'm going to show you the LED headlamps for interceptor. And this is the headlamp uh, which is I can uh, change the volume butterfly pattern uh, this from is here. The low beam and this is the high beam. These are and pilot. and this is increase the volume from Karul Bhatt from the Sans Motor Shop uh, minus so and plus sign on it in this is a volume button and items. center button is I for the calls to work to his place and, uh, he is and, and as well as the power on button if you hold it too long well. it will be power on and power off and so that, if any and, uh, uh, systems or devices okay. have been already paired it will connect it to so the uh, first device the clamps are from so that's all uh -huh. friends and if you like my video uh, uh, to subscribe to automotors technica and stay blessed